Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about an easy problem from lead code. The problem name is find the difference. So you're given two strings S and T. String T is generated by random shuffling the string S and then adding one more letter at a random place. Now you just have to return the letter that was added uh, to T. Now, uh, what you can understand is that if in general, I can just re explain the problem that you have a string S, reshuffle the characters inside S, then add one more extra character. And then whatever the new string is formed, that is called string D. You just have to tell that from both S and T, what is the extra character that is added. Got it. Now the thing is that because it is reshuffled, like it is every like the string T that is formed is shuffled. What you can actually do is that you can first sort out both the strings. When you sort out both the strings, they both come in the exact manner as they were eventually used. Okay. Now what can happen is that the first mismatch is the string character that was added additionally because if they were same. Every character will be same because they are sorted and they are in the same position only. But if they are in the correct position and the, the sorted manner, then it is good. But if it is not in the correct position in the sorted manner also, which means that one of the character is added extra that is not in the correct position and that's the character I'm looking for. That's total logic. Let us take one small example to understand all of that. Let us say that I have a string that is let's say A, B, C, D. So A, B, C, D. And then there's one more string that is A, B, C, D, E. Now what you can see is that I like both of them are sorted. You can like if you have an string, you have to sort it out also. Then you can like sadly matching out. This is matching, this is matching, this is matching, this is matching. The the last one that is left is E that is extra that is added. Let's say that you have string like this. Let's say if there's another example. Okay, there is not. So uh, let's say that I have a string like this. So A, B, D, C, and the other uh, string that is is A, E, C, B. D. So what you can first do is that you have to first sort out the strings. So it is A, B, C, D. And again, the other string is A, B, C, D, E. And then again, you can actually just match out. This is matching, this is matching, this is matching, this is matching. The one that is not matching is uh, false. But in this string, let's say there is such so that this is having two Bs. Okay, let's say it has uh, one more B like this. So after sorting, it will become like this. So that is A. B B C D. Now you'll keep on matching. A is matching with this. B is matching with this. Now C is doesn't match with this, which means that this character is externally added, which is additionally added. So this is bad. You just print it out. That's all the logic for this particular problem. So I'll move on to the code part now. So what we have done is that we have to first sort out both of the strings and then keep track of. So we have used two pointers. Okay, one character moving along the S string and other on the uh, T string. So it start from zero. Now, if both of the characters at I th on the I like on the S string and J on the T string, if both of them are matching out, then I'll just move my I that is moving from this for loop and J is moving uh, additionally by this. Okay, that is moving along the T string. Okay, now but at any point if they do not match out, then obviously the string. Or the, or the pointer that is pointing on a T string because on the T string only additional characters added. So the pointer that is J, it should break out and whatever character J is on is, is the additional character added, that is added extra. So T of J is the additional character that is added and just print out or just return out that particular character. That's it. Nothing much too much fancy about this particular problem. I hope you understand the logic and the code part for this particular problem as well. If you still have any doubts, you can mention on in the comment box of this particular problem. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I will see you in the next one. I'll keep coding and bye.